James Kaufman, World News Report, today, August 9th, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. NOAA, a geomagnetic storm watch, is currently active. Levels could possibly reach G3 geomagnetic storm levels or higher. A series of three coronal mass ejections is now headed for Earth. The first two launched by M-class solar flares on August 7th are relatively minor. The third launched by yesterday's X-class solar flare is more potent. Striking Earth in succession on August 19th, August 11th, and August 12th, the three CMEs could spark geomagnetic storms as strong as Category G3 or higher with mid-latitude auroras in the USA and Europe. Head over to GOES X-Ray Flux. Take a look at the solar eruptions or solar flares that generated those coronal mass ejections that are currently inbound towards Earth. We started out here on the 7th with a M4.5 class solar flare that was followed up by an M4.5. Five solar flare. These were both Earth facing. And by now, hopefully, everyone knows we also had an X 1.3 solar flare pop off that was directly Earth facing yesterday with a very fast moving chrome mass ejection associated with it. NOAA has an update about the X class solar flare and halo chrome mass ejection. Active Sunspot AR-3777 just produced its most powerful solar flare yet, an X1.3 class explosion on August 8th at 1935 UTC time. That would have been about 1235 in the afternoon central time here. NASA's Solar Dynamic Observatory recorded the extreme ultraviolet flash seen here. Radiation from the flare ionized the top of Earth's atmosphere and caused a shortwave radio blackout from North America to the Hawaiian Islands. Mariners and ham radio operators may have noticed loss of signal below 30 MHz for as much as an hour after that flare. Of greater interest is the coronal mass ejection, or CME. Soon after the solar flare, Soho chronographs detected a halo coronal mass ejection heading straight for Earth. The coronal mass ejection seen here on Lasco C3 is moving faster than 1,000 kilometers per second, around 2.2 million miles an hour, and it will likely arrive no later than August 11th, adding its effects to that of two earlier coronal mass ejections early in route. There's an absolute chance that this will catch one of the other coronal mass ejections and we may have a cannibal CME situation. There's also a greater chance that the two CMEs in front will clear Earth's atmosphere, allowing the X-flare coronal mass ejection to arrive and do much more harm than it would without the two CMEs in front of it. NASA is predicting late on August 11th or early on August 12th. The impact could push geomagnetic storm levels to Category 3, strong or stronger, with mid-latitude auroras in the U.S. and Europe. So with that said, we're looking for a one, two, three punch. And let's hope that this fast moving chrome mass ejection produced by the X-class solar flare doesn't catch the other two CMEs and end up a cannibal CME event. And let's hope that the first two CMEs are negligible and do not clear out the atmosphere so that this X-class solar flare chrono mass ejection can do extra harm and reach extra well, high levels. God bless you and yours. Please share, subscribe, and always remember, anything's possible.
bizarro world.